Yo, what's up, guys? Now it's UFC. Welcome back to another video. So, a bunch of auto egos have dropped today. Good ones, by the way. Robbie Lawler, UFC 195 edition. There he is. Give him a quick spin. He's wearing the champion Reebok shorts. Obviously, don't show Reeboks because they're not the official, you know, clothing partner with the UFC. And there he is. We've also got Jose Aldo in the fighter bundles here. UFC 179. Uh, I've, I've also been told that Olovsky is also, you know, there's a there's an auto ego for Olovsky as well, but there's not a way to unlock him just yet. Um, I think it will probably be through challenges or something like that. But there you go, guys. We're going to go ahead and buy Jose Aldo. Just the auto ego. I'm not too fast about the pictures and stuff. And then we're going to compare the stats. Um, Robbie Lawler too. We'll buy him. Continue. And... Yeah, okay. We'll just check out the challenges just in case it's been updated. Um, There's nothing there. Punch card. We'll check out the punch card. Nothing there. Fight contracts, perhaps. Anything here? Just to give it a quick look. Nothing here. There's Nick Diaz here, if you guys want to give that a go. Is there challenges? How do I check my challenges, guys? Let me just quickly check it. Um... Uh, Challenges. Yeah, guys. See, so there's. I don't know. I don't think there's a way to un unlock Olovsky just yet. We're gonna go into fight now, just to look at the stats and stuff. But um, where is it? Let's go to this. Boom. Robbie Lawler. There he is. UFC 195. He's got a baby face, you know, compared to the one that looks like today. Um, if we look at the stats quick. So he's got he's got a different attribute. So this one's this one's got carved of wood attribute at the top. But this one's got force of nature. Force of nature is a good attribute. It's the one PEN has, you know, really good. Incoming damage is less effective when you have more health than your opponent. It's a super OP attribute to have. Um stand up for this. Lawler looks yeah, 97 punch power. That already looks better, guys. Yeah. 93 power, the old one has. The young one has more power. Better accuracy, better blocking, better head movement, better footwork. He's better everywhere, guys. We'll check out the grappling too. Better grappling, better health, guys. It's obviously a better version. It's four and a half stars. This one's four stars. Um, and yeah, pr really good auto ego. That's how he looks like, guys. Not like that. But let's go to featherweight now, guys. Jose Aldo auto ego. So that. So this one's the UFC legend version of him because he's retired, right? And then we've got this version, UFC 179. Wow, he looks a lot younger. What have they done to his face? Okay, so they got rid of his facial hair. That's what they've done. Okay. Have they done anything to his hair, though? Yeah, they're giving him some hair on his head, too. I like that, you know? I like that. Anything change with his tattoos? Uh, you know his muscles kind of change, or is that just a glitch? I swear his abs look different. No, I think it's just a flicker that's making it seem that way. But um, if we look at... Wow. You know what? The only difference I see there is the accuracy in takedown defense. Does anything else change? Footwork. It's not a big difference in the stand-up, guys. I'll be real. The takedown defense is 100, but 99 is good anyways. I'm guessing the grappling and health stats would have gone up. But... Yeah, no, to be fair, nothing in the ground game has actually changed except his, his uh, takedowns, which are still three star. So the grappling remains the same. Health obviously would have gone up, more cardio because he's younger. Uh, he's got a better chin. Yeah, that goes up by two because his chin got cracked after McGregor, didn't it? Um, better body health. That leg health goes up quite a bit, though, for some reason. I'm not sure why. Did he, did he sustain like a leg injury? He's got 93 leg health here and a 99 leg health here. So that goes up, guys. Um, oh, shit. The top moves changed too, guys. So five, we're going to check what Robbie Lawler's ones were. He's got five-star boxing combinations here. That's the same with the OG anyways. Muay Thai, leg kick. Oh, I think it's just moved around. He's got wrestling get-ups here. What's different here, guys, that I can't see over there? Can't see it, guys. Oh, lead body hook. That's it. He's got a, a five-star lead body hook with this one, guys. That's a big difference. Why does it say it's locked when I when I per when I bought it? All right. Um, Robbie Lawler. I should, I'm just going to check his top moves, guys, quick. 
So, has anything changed? No, none of the top moves changed for Robbie Lawler. We're going to go heavyweight just to check out what Olovsky looks like. There he is. He's in the featured fighters now. And there he is, guys. Damn. His appearance does change a lot. He looks like a fucking lion. But yeah, I don't actually know who Olovsky is, guys. So, I'm not, I'm, I don't know what to expect his stats to be like. This is him in 2005. But he looks different. And he's three and a half stars here. Four and a half here. So, he's gone up. And if you... If you look carefully, he's, he's classed as a kickboxer here and a Sambo wrestler here, right? We'll just check the stats out. There's the top moves. Yeah, he's got a five-star straight here. Um, is that the only thing? Yeah, he's four-star overhand, four-star hook. Yeah, a few things that are better with his top moves. 26 here, by the way. So that's a long time ago. He actually weighs a little less, 108 kg as well. And we're going to look at cardio to start off with so yeah because he's younger he's going to have more cardio better health grappling should go up because he's considered a samba wrestler here so it should go up bottom control and top control goes up yep submission offense goes up i don't get how your submission offense goes down over time um but punch speed yeah his stand-up goes up too I, I, you would think it's the opposite because he's more of a kickboxer here and a, and a Sambo fight here, but for some reason he's got better kick speed and punch power here. Um, better footwork, all that stuff. But yeah, I've got no clue how to unlock him. And guys, he's at heavyweight, so you know, you've got to make that choice whether you want to pick someone like him or, you know, someone like Fedor. <laughs> you know what I mean, but I want to try these guys in an actual fight now, guys, see what they're like. Let me just restart my app. Oh, wait there. That changed, didn't it? Fight week. Okay, so now we've, we can set picks for these two guys. Just, I'm going to look at the challenges. Oh, so that's how you unlock him. Oh, you can skip the challenge, thank God. All right. So we're, we're going to showcase all of these guys. So you've got to land 50 punches to the head, guys, to unlock him. But I'm going to go ahead and skip the challenge. I'm going to use my coins. Fuck it. There you go. And is it going to unlock? Or is it going to scam me, guys? I think I've just been scammed. I'll give it five seconds. Five, four, three, two. All right, guys. So now I've restarted my app. We've got this screen now. We're going to go to Fight Week Hub. So I'm going to try buy Olovsky again because it failed the first time. Um. All right, so I'm going to try skip the challenge if it lets me. There he is. I'm going to take a screenshot like that of these dudes. Unlock in. Please unlock. Thank you. There we go. We've got him. All right, here we go, guys. Coming up first, featherweight, UFC 179, Auto Ego, Jose Aldo. There he is, guys. going to take a screenshot. There you go. About time. All right. Guys, the featherweight division is getting stacked. There's a bunch of auto egos in featherweight now. Um, they really need to focus in the other weight classes because some weight classes like flyweight don't even have too many fighters. And I think my game is frozen. Nope, we're good. There he is, guys. Those shorts look sick, by the way. Can't lie. Oh, this guy is definitely a noob, by the way. Boom. All right, just want to see what he, what he's got. Has he got anything special? Any signature moves? Ouch. He's got a four, a four star, a five star body hook. So I'm gonna be using that a lot, guys, in this one. This guy's a bit of a new. <laughs> Let's go. Body hooks. Body hook. Body hook. Bang. Beautiful. Come on. Come on, Zabi. Where are you running to? Ooh. All right, let's go. He's going to stand up. I'm going to go for that. Ooh. Damn. All right, let's get this finished. Ouch.
Boy, the body damage in this game's been nerfed, but you definitely drain the stamina. I think once you've got your opponent's stamina to about that much, you, sh you should just focus the head, really. Go low every now and then, but it's too hard to get TKOs with body damage, so you might as well just go high. Like, go low, then high like that. That's a good combo, guys. Giving you guys tips in this video, too. Shh. Bang! Bang! Or let him stand up. Can you do a tornado kick? Aldo. You can't. He's gone. He's quitting. Come on, brother. I think he's learning how to get up. Good man. One more, I'm guessing. Oh my god. Jesus. This is so unrealistic. What? I was right in front of him. Oh, good pull counter for a level one. There you go, about time. That took a while, but we got it done. Guys, if I'm being honest, he feels just like the, the normal Jose Aldo. You don't really notice the difference. He's got better chin stats, so I guess if you are playing someone that's good, like a McGregor player, you know, you, you won't get stunned as much. That's probably the only difference, but let's go ahead and use one of the other auto we go, shall we? All right, guys, up next, we're going to use Olofsky. Um My opponent's going Mike Tyson, but here he is. Quick screenshot of that. And yeah, I'll be real, guys. I don't know who Olofsky is. I'm pretty sure he was a champ at one point in the heavyweight division. I'm, I know he fought Tom Aspinall, but other than that, I don't really know who he is, guys. I hope he fought Tom Aspinall, if that's the man I'm thinking about. <laughs> if I'm wrong, then I'm such a casual. Feels fast. Character model looks sick. Oh my god, but Mike Tyson's just better. Beautiful. Catches my leg kick. Jesus. What are you thinking, Tyson? Overhand? Nope. Body. Oh, good man. Beautiful. Don't know how I ducked that. I slipped. The tr <laughs> All right, he's got a spinny body kick. Spinny head kick, nope. Just checking what he's got, guys. Oh my God, killed him. I didn't even mean that too. But we got it, guys, that's him. That's Olofsky for you. You know, he obviously looks way different to the one we have today, um, his hair. But yet again, guys, I, bro, I have, I've got zero clue who he is, so it's not going to be one of my picks. I don't know too much about him, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and use Robbie Lawler. All right, guys, up next, we're going to use the UFC 195 Robbie Lawler auto ego. There he is. Quick screenshot of him. My opponent's going shaft cap. Interesting. But yeah. Robbie Lawler was like the face. Well, he wasn't on the cover of UFC 2, but when you when you played UFC 2 and you loaded in, they made you pick Robbie Lawler at the time because he was a champion at the time. You know, in those, you know, in those clothes, just like that. These are meant to be Reebok shorts, guys. The shorts he's wearing here look cool on him as hell. But he feels fast, man. I do like how he feels. Flying knees. Does he? Does he look slimmer to you guys? You know what? <laughs> I like how he feels. This might be my next favorite pick. Because I used to use Robbie Lawler on UC4. Filthy. I like the range. Jeez. It's 
He's got a head kick. Nope. Killed him. That looks so fake, but <laughs> looked deadly as hell. But damn, Robbie Lawler, definitely a W, guys. A W addition. My opponent says nasty damage. Let's look at that replay again, guys. Damn. This auto ego is fire, guys. I'll be real. I'm probably going to use Robbie Lawler auto ego, guys, on rank and stuff like that. It feels really good, bro. Super good. Jose Aldo just feels like the normal Aldo. And I love I think no one's going to pick him in such a, you know, high level weight class like heavyweight. There's John Jones, there's Fedor, there's Tom Aspinall. But, yeah, bro. If you guys are going to buy any of the auto egos, make sure you get this one. You know, if you have to pick one, get get Robbie Lawler. He actually felt really good. But there he is. In his Reebok clothing without the logo. <laughs> actually looks kind of good. But um, but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, if you do like this video, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe for more content and updates just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.